will shiver me timbers and blow me down. It's not Wimpy's favorite hamburger joint. It's the Steve Ames show. <laughs> With guitarist Sandy Renda, pianist Mike Yanuzzi, and Steve's special guests, talent scout Walt Gollander, and singer Tony Adada. I'm not really Popeye the Sailor. I'm your announcer, Wayne Rubin. <laughs> and now here's Olive Oil's favorite crooner, Steve Ames. Just let a smile be your umbrella on a rainy, rainy day. And when your sweetie cries, then tell her that a smile will always pay. Whenever skies are gray, don't worry or fret. A smile will bring the sunshine and you'll never get wet. So let a smile be your umbrella on a rainy, rainy day. Sweetie cries, then tell her that a smile will always pay. Whenever skies are gray, don't worry or fret. A smile will bring the sunshine and you'll never get wet. So let a smile be your umbrella on a rainy, rainy day. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let a smile be your umbrella. Written by Irving K. Hill and Sammy Fain. And we got a lot of smiles for you tonight, ladies and gentlemen. We had a rainy weekend, but now the sun is shining. At least the sun was shining. Now it's the evening time. And we've got our two favorite musicians here to bring us sunshine, music, and merriment at the guitar, Sandy Renda. At the keyboard, Mike Yanuzzi. And here's one of the great smile songs written by Goodwin and Shea, When You're Smiling. When you're smiling, when you're smiling, the whole world smiles with you. When you're laughing, when you're laughing, the sun comes shining through, but when you're crying, you bring on the rain, so stop your crying, be happy again, keep on smiling, cause when you're smiling, the whole world smiles with you, when you're smiling. pleasure of recording When You're Smiling on the album, The Roaring Twenties Roar Again, exactly 20 years ago this month, back in the spring of 1986. And the album was on the Golly label, produced by my very good friend, Walt Gollander. And in Walt Gollander's great career of 43 years as a talent scout, he has done many, many things. Besides being a talent scout, he's been a record producer, a music promoter, and a deal maker. So right now, here is part two of my recent interview with Walt Ollander. Watch. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. 42 years, because I retired about uh, one year before that. Okay, but you began in 1963. 1963 with Jimmy Miller. Okay, but you don't count that one year that you took off. All and right. You go. So I'll, 40, I'll throw that year in. 43 and a half. And, uh, That's right. It's good to, to actually reflect back on all the years. It would be impossible to cover all the highlights, and that's why I recommend people to take a look at the website. Give out your all website, right. Walter. All Give right. it out. 
www.waltgollander.biz, B-I-Z. And any of the highlights you hear me mentioning here, you can see a whole chronological story of what I've done over the years, a lot of ups and downs, a lot of blood, sweat, and tears, a lot of good things, a lot of sad things, because the more you get involved in show business, the more chance you're exposing yourself and it's uh you give the whole story and the website the website chronologically that's talking about the gollander influence no you tell me what happened in 1968 well you came across some very talented well, what was i doing though as far as every sunday you were holding auditions in union new jersey and dave copen's house right and that, that's where you first teamed the professional songwriters erwin levine and russell brown yeah. did not introduce them no but you teamed team them. and they had known each other from playing cards going golfing, playing poker, but I was the one that actually put them together on their first completed writing of a song, producing it, and selling it to Roulette Records. So we and teamed for some them. of the younger folks who may not know, tell us some of the great song hits of Levine All and right. Brown. Also, you can be looking at some pictures of Erwin Levine and myself, a potpourri of pictures of Erwin Levine and myself. And they wrote songs such as Candida and Knock Three Times, but rather than me say it, why don't we let them say it from the John Hamilton Focus New Jersey show? Can we look Let's at the video look at that tape video now? Clip of Irwin this Levine is and Russell Brown. 1978. They're on Channel 11 on WPIX, and it goes something like this. It goes exactly like this. Watch, watch, watch. Uh, I want to introduce you to as the composers of uh, some of the nation's most uh, well-known popular songs. I'll name a couple of them. You can name some others if you want. Tie a yellow ribbon around the old oak tree, right? Yeah, we did you, that one. You, I mean, you claimed that one. Guilty. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Knock three times. Knock what? three times. Uh, Has anybody seen my sweet gypsy rose? Is Candida, that one? who's in the strawberry patch with Sally. That's enough. Anybody? That's enough. Right. And how did you two get together? <laughs> we, uh... Well, a, tal a talent scout, actually. Walter Gollander. That's with two L's. Yes? In New Jersey, put us together one he, day. And he knew uh, both of you? Yeah. We sort of got together that way. And uh, you worked with Tony Orlando and Dawn, right? Yes, we, uh, we had most of our success with Tony Orlando from Candida through Yellow Ribbon. And that's up to right now. Okay, it's great to see Irwin and Russell again talking and, about their uh, friend. Whenever there's a homecoming and the soldiers come home from Iran and Pakistan, they'll be playing Tie Absolutely. Irwin, over and over it's again. It's a classic. It's Tony a classic. Orlando and Dawn. We want to all wish our good friend Dick Clark a happy, speedy recovery from his recent stroke. He was on New Year's Eve last New Year's, and he's getting better all the time. So talk Isn't that about a song? yes, yes. Talk about your affiliation with Dick Clark. All right. Uh, this was a, a thrill of thrills. Uh, 1990, I had found a Sam Cooke sound-alike singer who was an absolute, absolute carbon copy of Sam Cooke. And I called him Sam Cooke Jr. And I mailed out 28 copies of a demonstration of two masters. And no sooner had I sent out 28 tape copies with 28 cover letters to introduce the song and the artist... I got a phone call one day, believe it or not, from Burbank, California, and of all the calls I get from Myron and from Wayne and all the good people here, and even you, this call stood out in my mind because it was from Mr. Bandstand himself, and I was thrilled, and it sounds something like this. And he had only had the tape four days, and he called me personally. So here's Dick Clark on Walt Gollinger's answering machine back in 1990. Listen. Well, that's very impressive hearing Dick Never Clark on your machine. Never had a call like that in my life. And, and he's a nice a, man. And I, and I'm a nice man. But that was a thrill of thrills. And I'm glad I captured it on tape. 1993, I was very honored by Jim Riffle, an independent producer from Palmer Video, who featured me in a documentary called Meeting the Beautiful People, or Peeper, as you and call it. And we premiered that on the Steve Ames show. On the Steve Ames show, like everything else we premiered. And if 
again, thanks to Jim Riffle and to Don K. Reed, who's had me on, and all the good people. And Don K. Reed has had you on the radio. Four times. CBS radio. Four times as a non-performer. So I'm very proud of a lot of things. Sorry about a lot of things, but you can't have everything. Some good, some bad. Do you have a picture with Don K. Reed? There's a picture there of Don K. Reed. If you search for it, there's Don and myself. Very good. CBS radio. Yeah, That's which is defunct impressive. right now. Walter, give out the website one more time. All right. In case you want to read all the stories in chronological order, www.waltgolander.biz. And you can see 40 years of details. 43 chrono- years. 43 Don't forget years. that 43rd year. 43 years in chronological order. Absolutely. This man has accomplished a lot through radio, through television, through recordings, through live appearances. Having good ears. Having good ears and meeting some of the most important people in this business over the last four decades. And I'm just proud to be his and friend you're one of and the good colleague. People. I'm proud to be your friend and colleague. Walt Gollander, long may you be a talent scout. Let's hear it for Walter. Thank you. Thank you. 40 more years to go. God forbid. Well, Sandy, I enjoyed doing that When You're Smiling duet with you. That was a lot of fun. Thank you. Yes. Now, what's on the musical menu tonight for you and Mike? Here's a cute little medley we put together. Uh, Remember an old tiger rag? Uh, Hold that tiger. Tiger, Hold that tiger. And uh, whispering. We're going to do a little Dixieland style. I love these songs. Whispering was a big hit for the Paul Whiteman Orchestra. Right. Mm-hmm. And Hold That Tiger, the Tiger Rag, was a big hit for the Mills Brothers. Yeah. And now it's going to be a big hit Great. for Sandy Renda and Mike Yanuzzi. Let's hear it for him. Oh, daddy boy, the pipes, the pipes are calling from glen to glen and down the mountainside. The summer's gone and all the rose is falling. Tis you, tis you must bend and I. 
from ye back when summer's in the meadow, or when the valley's hushed and white with snow. It's I'll be here in sunshine or in shadows. Oh, Danny boy, oh, Danny boy, I love you so. And if ye come and all the flowers are dying and I am dead, as dead I well may be. You'll come and find the place where I'll be lying and kneel and say an ave there for me. And I will hear the soft you tread above me and all me grave will warm a sweeter be for you will kneel and tell me that you love me and i shall sleep in peace until you come to Tony, thank Steve, you so, you so much. Welcome back to the show. I love hearing you sing Danny Boy. Oh, thank you very much. That's one of your best songs, and you're still dressed for St. Patrick's well, Day, still in green, green, right? Green onto it, you know? Yeah, that's <laughs> right. That's really beautiful. Well, Tony, what have you been up to lately? Well, I've been singing primarily at church uh, most of the time. We just got through the Easter season, did a lot of uh, fancy uh, anthems and so forth with the choir. Uh, and that kept us pretty busy. And m basically, that's what I've been doing now is just mostly church work. Well, I'm so happy you could be on tonight's show. It's a very special occasion because you know we're celebrating Walt Gollander's 43 years of being a talent scout. And I must mention it was Walt Gollander who originally booked you on our show. That's right. And that was nine years ago. Oh, and wow. The it's first time, and you've been on many, many times since. You're one of our favorite people. Well, thank you. And now you've got a special number that you're going to do for us, which was a big hit for the Four Aces which coincidentally are Walt Gollander's yes. favorite group. And I believe it was also a recording for Tony Bennett. It's one of the all-time great songs. Right. And before you sing it, you want to dedicate your performance tonight to somebody very special. Yeah, I want to dedicate my performance here on Steve's show tonight to my brother Frank, who's uh, suffering with ALS. And he's very courageous, and I just wanted to let him know that we love him and we'll be there for him as much as we can. That's well, we all wish him well. I met him you. last summer when he came to the Oasis, yes. and it was nice to see him. Now, the song you're going to sing? Stranger in Paradise. Looking forward to hearing it. Tony Adada! Take my hand I'm a stranger in paradise All lost in a wonderland A stranger in paradise If I stand starry-eyed That's the danger in paradise For mortals who stand beside An angel like you I touched your face and I ascended out of the commonplace into the rare. Somewhere in space I hang suspended until I know there's a chance that you'll care. Won't you answer the fervent prayer of a stranger in paradise? Don't leave me in dark despair for all that I hunger for. 
But open your angel's arms to this stranger in paradise and tell him that he need be a stranger no more. Tony, that was a beautiful rendition of Stranger in Paradise. And will you do the honors of introducing this very lovely lady? This lovely lady is, is my mom, Ida. Ida Dodd, everybody. Say hello to Ida. Hi, Ida. And this, this one, she's 92 years old. That's right. You know, this show is going to air in May. And your birthday is May what? 19th. On May 19th, you'll be 92. That's right. Well, God bless you, Ida. And a happy birthday a little early. How do you like hearing your son, Tony, sing? I wish he sings a little louder. At the oh, beginning. you wanted to say louder? Yeah, you know. <laughs> we can all hear him. I know he really sings. You never know. I can hear from the two rooms. Well, you'll hear him when you hear him. And you enjoy watching <laughs> the Steve Ames show, Thank right? You. Thank you. You enjoy watching the I Steve Ames show, yes. right? Yes, yes. That's yes. so good. So, uh, Ida, very Thank happy you. birthday Thank to you. you. Let's hear it for Ida Adada and Tony Adada. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you, Steve. Thank you. Thank you. Right now, here's my annual birthday tribute to my favorite crooner, Bing Crosby, who was born Harry Lillis Crosby in Tacoma, Washington, on May 2nd, 1903. Yes, Bing had a great career in records, radio, television, and of course the movies, where he had a long-term contract at Paramount Pictures, where he made some of his best films in the 1930s, 40s, and throughout the 1950s. One of my favorite pictures was called Sing You Sinners, and in that film introduced this great song by Jimmy Monaco and Johnny Burke. <laughs> I'm no millionaire, but I'm not the type to care, cause I've got a pocket full of dreams. It's my universe, even with an empty purse, cause I've got a pocket full of dreams. Wouldn't trade the wealth on Wall Street for a road where nature trots, and I calculate I'm worth my weight in golden rods. Lucky, lucky me, I can live in luxury Cause I've got a pocket full of dreams Oh, I'm no millionaire, but I'm not the type to care Cause I've got a pocket full of dreams It's my universe, even with an empty purse Cause I've got a pocket full of dreams Trade the wealth on Wall Street for a road where not your trots. And I calculate I'm worth my weight in golden rods. Oh, lucky, lucky me, I can live in luxury. Cause I've got a pocket full, I've got a pocket full, I've got a pocket full of dreams. Well, I want to thank everybody connected with tonight's very special evening. Our singing star, Tony Adada, his lovely mother, Ida, our special guest talent, Scott Walt Gollander, the announcer, Wayne Rubin, producer, director, Jerry Schoenthal, and last but not least, the mighty musician, Sandy Rinda and Mike Yanuzzi, right over there. And we close off the program with another great song introduced by Bing during his Paramount days. This one written by Arthur Johnston and Sam Coslow, very appropriately titled, Thanks. Thanks for all the lovely delight I found in your embrace. I'm thankful though I know it's ending all too soon And thanks for unforgettable nights I never can replace And memories that linger like a haunting tune It is better 
to have loved you dear and lost than never to have loved at all. It is better, for no matter what the cost, I held the world in sway and emperor for a day. And thanks again for taking me on the road to paradise. We lost our way. Still I must convey my thanks. Thank you. Thanks for all the lovely delight I found in your embrace. I'm thankful though I know it's ending all too soon. And thanks for unforgettable nights I never can replace And memories that linger like a haunting tune It is better to have loved you dear and lost Than never to have loved at all It is better for no matter what the cost I held the world in sway and emperor for a day and thanks again for taking me on the road to paradise we lost our way still I must convey my thanks thank you good night